Some store owners and people in downtown Macon say they're worried a homeless man is hurting business. Sabrina Burr spoke to some folks to find out why they're concerned. Sabrina's joined us now in the newsroom. Lori, the man's name is David Gooden, and the Bibb County Sheriff's Office says he's been homeless downtown for years. A few business owners I spoke to say sometimes he cleans up in front of restaurants, but others say his cart and belongings and unpredictable behavior have become a serious problem. Burt Maxwell owns a furniture store in downtown Macon. He posted on Facebook saying a cart was chained to a bike rack in front of his store for four days straight. He says the cart's owner, David Gooden, threatened him and slashed his tires in the past has deterred business, you know, made people stay away, that type of thing. Josephine Bennett commented under the Facebook post saying her husband was assaulted by Gooden and wound up with seven staples in his head when her husband asked him not to camp on private property. Because it seems like some days they're good with him and he's fine with people and other days he just snaps and goes off on everybody that walks past him. Redemption tattoo artist Austin Braden says he's noticed Gooden's cart around town but says it doesn't bother him. He cleans up. He sweeps the sidewalks, he picks up cigarette butts and asks for nothing in return. He's never asked me for anything. Um, he's, as far as I know, he's the best bum around Macon, and we have a lot of bums. But Maxwell and other people say Gooden's unpredictable behavior is scaring customers. Lieutenant Nicole Ard with the Bibb County Sheriff's Office says deputies asked Gooden to move his cart Thursday afternoon. She says if a store owner has a concern about anyone bothering a business, to report it to law enforcement right away. We have to do a ban order. We have to let these people know they cannot come back in this business. They sign it, you sign it, and then it's filed. Now, Maxwell's post has racked up more than 160 comments from people around town. He says for now he's going to do his best to just avoid Gooden. Lori, back to you. Thank you, Sabrina. Lieutenant Ard with the Bibb County Sheriff's Office says if someone violates the ban order, a deputy will arrest them.